Look at our skies these days, people. See all these chemtrails up there? There's like aluminum oxide and benzene and all kinds of different stuff. They can't spray it all at once, so that they spray different streams so it actually mixes together in our airstream. Uh, it dumbs down the population and making us have um, sick babies and whatnot. You see it? You see him just sitting there almost passing out? That's the effects of heroin with fentanyl in it. Now, I don't mind passing a man a sandwich, but I'll be damned if I'm going to give you my money so you can blow it up your arm and stand outside and sag like a dog. He's just so damn high, begging for money. His sign's in the street, and he's still trying to beg for money at the McDonald's. Who, who's giving that person some money? Come on, man. He's an Olympic ground starer. Let's support it. Freaking had a scumbag lady complain that half her coffee was drank and her food was ripped into an eight. Right? I told DoorDash about it. They're like, dude, don't even worry about it. You got like 1,500 deliveries. We know you're good. I was like, damn straight. See what people do to try to get a free meal? A simple bastard. He cuts me off in traffic and then calls me an asshole for it. So I pulled up. I'm like, yeah, well, at least I'm not driving around a city with hooker breath. And the look on his face, priceless. Ooh, ooh, what? Yep, you understood exactly what I meant. It's been five years since the first outbreak. When reports came out from around the world about the virus becoming an international emergency, it was too late. Few of us survived. <laughs> it's the dental bunny. And you don't want to visit from the dental bunny. Because the dental bunny does this. He comes to your house and eats your teeth while you're sleeping. Dental bunny. So this woman gets picked up for shoplifting, right? Well, while she's in a cop car, she slips her cuffs and steals the cop car and takes the cops on a chase and crashes it. Winds up getting 45 years in prison for shoplifting. That's what all started it. Duh! Go on, cat bus. This is my cat. She's a bus. Come on, Orange, run. It's so funny because she's so pregnant. When she walks, her belly swings from left to right. I just wish I could get better lighting. Oh, my cat bus. Anybody want kittens? That motherfucker right there is on bath salts. That's what that shit does to you. Look at that. Some wild shit. Oh, it's coming my way. Wow. That's the first time I'm seeing this. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, oh, come on, damn truck. She was gone, man. The friggin' the engine was in gear, but their pilot wasn't home. Holy shit, man! If I had if I had more time, I'd friggin' show them a whole show of that shit. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Wow. Damn shame. This is nice. This is an old military coat. Probably World War Two. Damn nice though. I gotta find some way to give this to. This thing's nice. It's got a zip in liner and everything. Old olive drab. I gave that trench coat away to a homeless kid. He's probably like maybe 20, 23. Out there freezing. He's like, oh, it's too long. It's too long. I'm like, dude, it's a trench coat. It's supposed to be too long. It's a military issue coat. Anyway, after I gave it to him, I looked it up. The thing's worth like 600 bucks. So I showed him. He smiled ear to ear. So there you go. Damn, they ain't playing in Philly. Not only did they steal the guy's tire, they took his whole fucking axle, man. <laughs> Holy shit. That's wonderful. Uh. All right, people. So we made it through another week. So everybody's good. May God bless and keep you throughout this upcoming week, and we'll all try to stay healthy, happy, and
Now it's time to go home and drink some beer. School is in. Today I heard a word, laborious. First time I've ever heard it. So what's it mean? It means a process or journey. Something that takes a great amount of effort and time. You're welcome. There's Nazi. Nas is pregnant too. That's Nas. He's a black cat. And there's my goofy ass orange cat who's pregnant as well too. Up on the damn roof. So, now I gotta play get the cat. Always some. I seriously don't know how these idiots are ordering their food. Because you, you, when you drop it off, you call them up to let them know you're there. Especially in an apartment building. I call them up. The subscriber you reached is out of service. So how do you expect to get your food when you order it if your phone's not working? Geniuses. They're geniuses. Hell yeah, got the hook up. Throw this away. Little tiny hole right there. So, screw it. Put it in a bag. The boxes and these cereals right here are all messed up, but the cereal itself is good. So, that's my twin, bitch. Free food, happy man.